Well, hello and welcome to our first edition of Riceburg News for the 2023-2024 school year. It's Monday, August 14th, last day of summer for students. We start tomorrow, so we're all excited around here. I want to tell you, wow, we had a fantastic kickoff to the beginning of the school year so far. We began the month in our new teacher orientation, where we welcomed 41 new teachers to El Campo ISD. This was followed by our district-wide breakfast and convocation, welcoming the entire staff to Ricebird Nation. At the convocation, the Ricebird Band brought everyone to their feet with the fight song, the national anthem, the school song. The band supported was supported by the cheerleaders and the derby dolls who energized their room with their dancing and chants. Keynote speaker Chip Baker encouraged everyone with his theme, go get it. So right now, let's remember Riceburg Nation, let's go get it. It was a great beginning and we hope it has a great year to come. Last week, the sixth and ninth graders had orientations to get them familiar with their new campuses. Sixth graders coming from Northside and ninth graders coming from the middle school. And our elementary campuses held their meet the teacher. For the past several weeks, our PEAMS team has been hard at work enrolling new rice birds, helping returning rice birds with online registration, and just being overall helpful people. The online re registration replaces the extensive written first day packets that you probably remember from last year, but these documents are essential and necessary for the proper running of the schools. I'd like to give a huge shout out and thank you to Ryan Hanna at Myatt, Lupe Rosas at Hutchins, Andrea Olguin at Northside, Wendy Candela Cruz at the middle school, and Audrey Hernandez at the high school. Ann Rivera at the administration building has also been extremely helpful in providing a lot of hard work to these students and parents. Special thanks must go to those team leaders, and that is Victoria Guzman, or who is our Registrar and PEAMS clerk held at MMLRC and Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning, Alicia Starry. In case you didn't know, school starts tomorrow and we're looking forward to seeing our ha halls be filled with over 3,200 excited rice birds. It's going to be a great year. As a reminder, the school year remains the same, seven, or the school day remains the same, 7.50 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. These additional minutes added several years ago allow us to meet the state mandated number of instructional minutes required for us to grant credit to your children for their academic year. You can find the academic calendar on our website. The calendar will include things like our grading periods, our professional development days, school holidays, early dismissal information, and much, much more. The student calendar is 170 days long, so I want to remind everyone of the importance of being in, in school and receiving instruction each and every day. Each day builds upon the last, and this foundation is helpful for your child to complete the educational requirements at their grade level. Under state law, an additional thing I need to remind you about is students must not miss more than eight days in a semester, or they could be retained in their grade level, or at the high school, they will be denied credit for that class and they must meet 26 credits for graduation. So being in school is important, it's critical, and please help us get your children to school. As we begin the 23-24 school year, we would like to draw your attention to a few key items. Breakfast will continue to be free for all students. We continue to strongly encourage families to complete the federal application for the free and reduced schools. However, let me just tell you, these forms are gonna be sent home, but you've gotta fill them out because Maya is the only school that qualifies for free and reduced lunch and breakfast. They do this through their community eligibility provision. The remaining campuses, Hutchins, Northside, the middle school and high school, it's still required to fill out those free and reduced school meal forms. So please get to that. And now on to some Riceburg highlights. Congratulations to the Varsity Cheerleaders as they were named the overall game day champions, earning first place on their camp routine. 
They claim the top spot in the small varsity division by receiving gold medals at each evaluation this summer at UCA camp. All American cheerleaders include Kenley Tompkins, Emmy Lou Russell, Holly Fogel, Kaylin Mendez, and Allie Sort. The All American mascot and most inventive mascot was Bethany Baker. The Pennant Forward Award went to Allie Zalman, Jordan Maldonado, Kenley Tompkins, Bethany Baker, and Kaylin Mendez. And the Jump Queens include Addison Tompkins and Holly Fogel. The Derby Dolls were also busy winning awards at camp this summer as well. They learned new choreography and earned the Award of Excellence for all five of their routines. The outstanding performer went to Captain Mindy Freeman. The Gussie Nell Davis Award went to First Lieutenant Juliana Vasquez. The American Pizzazz Award went to line member Lainey Rawlinson. The Spirit of ADTS Award included Serenity Escochea, Chloe Zahn, and Ulyssa Vasquez. All-American Dance Company went to Siasman Hood, Catherine Nix, Chloe Herzig, and Eliana Fonseca. The All-American Dance Team went to Siasman Hood, Jolie Canark, Chloe Herzig, Eliana Fonseca, Mindy Freeman, Juliana Vasquez, Catherine Nix, and Audrina Acuna. Honorable mention All-American Dance Team went to Zoe Sabrasula, Bailey Tarver, Chloe Zahn, Mackenzie Trevino, Lainey Rawlinson, Serenity Escochea, Ulyssa Vasquez, Tayana Boston, Abriana Banda, 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 I'm sorry, and Brooke Bocic. We look forward to seeing all these groups out under the lights this fall on Friday nights. Also, congratulations to the Ricebird linemen who finished sixth at the State Lineman Challenge this summer. They, along with the Ricebirds, are getting ready for their fall lineup. They had a scrimmage last week in LaGrange, but they will be in town this Thursday for a scrimmage with Belleville. The freshmen start at five, followed by the JV at six and varsity at seven. The scrimmage is free. If you're seeking tickets for the football season, please reach out to Carrie Hebbs, the athletic secretary. The Ladybirds kicked off their volleyball this last week in Columbus. They will be playing in tournaments and on the road over the next couple of weeks. Be sure to come out and support them at their home opener on Tuesday, August 29th. The ninth plays the ninth and JV play at five, varsity at six. And cross country will be in action this week in Sealy. That is on Friday. We wish all our rice birds and ladybirds a great season for all of our sports action. Check out the athletic calendar at ecisd.org. And finally, the rice bird cheerleaders would like to invite everyone to their annual rice bird rally Monday, August 21st at Rice Bird Stadium. You'll meet the rice birds, learn yells and traditions, and you'll have a chance to win door prizes. So please be there, 715, and be ready to root on those rice birds. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Thank you.